you have a reactor, but you have to heat up your feet and cool down your product. Heat up and cool down. That's complex, right? What if I tell you there's a much more simpler way where we can combine all the unit operations into a single unit? Welcome to the 21st century of chemical engineering. This is process intensification. According to Tenkiris and Maoji, process intensification or PI is any chemical engineering development that leads to substantially smaller, cleaner and more energy efficient technology. PI can be divided into two categories, are PI equipment and PI method. First, I will explain to you the details of PI equipment. Process intensifying equipment is focusing on the equipment design that can help to optimize certain critical parameters such as mass transfer and heat transfer. Taking heat exchanger as example, normally heat exchanger has only one pass of cooling fluid and target stream. Simple, but a lot of heat may lost to the surrounding. To increase heat transfer efficiency, we can add buffers and separate streams into many parts. This will eventually create a compact heat exchanger. By doing this, sir, it will eventually increase the heat transfer efficiency and this is known as a new process intensifying equipment. On the other hand, PI methods can be either integrating multi-processing steps into a single unit operation or using alternative energy sources. Now we will take a look at an example of PI method, a reactor and a distillation column. In process intensification, we can combine both reactor and distillation column into the same single unit. It is now called as reactive distillation column. Although the equipment looks very simple, but the design of the equipment itself is very complicated. And the products produced from this equipment is much more lower compared to the older ones. So, why do we still want to apply PI? One, well, it brings plenty of advantages. First, safety. There's no moving of hazardous substance from one place to another. Hence, there's no risk of leaking. Second, higher energy efficiency. More heat recovery can be achieved through usage of a single unit operation and thus minimizing the heat loss to the surrounding. Thirdly, it has a very low energy consumption where the requirement of fuel to operate the unit operation is very low. Thus, we can reduce the emission of greenhouse gases. Fourth, more control process. Process can be monitored easier to reduce SL of toxic waste into the environment that may cause air and water pollution. 